Hello, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the tree tool and specifically also the pivot painting tools with it. So the tree tool itself is something that we can generate in Houdini. We have tools for that available. And then we're also going to use the pivot painting tools. So there will be mainly two parts uh, of these tutorials. So the first tutorial will cover about how can we make a procedural tree in Houdini. And we're going to use the labs tools for this. So SideFX Labs has tools to generate trees and I will quickly go over this. We have special videos that go a bit more in depth on SideFX website to talk a bit more about the lab tree tools. But here we're going to just make a quick example for us to start with. After we have our tree, we're then going to go over to using Pivot Painter 2. So this is a version 2 that holds a bit more data than the older version. And we're going to use this then of course within Unreal. So this will be used with shaders. So Pivot Painter will actually uh, export your geometry and also a couple textures. And it will then use that in the shader to then do a couple things. So what will be important here is to store actually a, a hierarchy of your geometry. So as you can see here, we can have control over individual branches and leaves with this texture available. So we can do all kinds of things with Pivot Painter data. We can do things like simulating here the wind, having like a very intense wind effect, but also here, for example, a shrinking and growing effect. There are a variety of things you can do with Pivot Painter, but here we are subtracting this to very basic cases, like for example, simulating wind on the tree. So that was it for this video. So quickly showed you the three tools that will mainly evolve around talking about Pivot Painting tools, and I hope you are interested to follow these videos. Thanks for watching.